Hey everybody, it's kind of been a hot minute since I've put a video up, but I promise I will not disappoint you this time. I have an entire video on castles. So um, I want to say the very last week in December, George and I went over to the, the closest castle ruins near us, about 20 minutes away in um, the town of Kusel, if I can speak properly, um, called Berg Lichtenberg. Um, they have castle ruins over there that uh, a lot of people go to uh, let their kids roam around free. They have like a playground there um, built in the castle grounds, excuse me, castle ruin grounds. I want to make sure that's clear to you because um, it is not like the second castle I'm going to show you today, like New Schweinstein, which um, Walt Disney modeled Sleeping Beauty's castle. So make sure you want to stay tuned for that. You want to watch this whole video because I have a lot of cool footage. Um, Anywho, uh, Berg Lichtenberg over in Kusel, which is about 20 minutes away. Um, really cool. I really liked it. George really liked it. We got there at dusk, so the sun was just starting to set. It was really romantic, and uh, I would suggest for people that are here in Baumholder to definitely go see that if you haven't seen it. Um, it was built um, in the early 1200s, uh, and it was owned by the Counts von Veldens, I have my notes here, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, and it was fought over a lot of times, so the people that mostly inhabited the that castle were counts and dukes. No kings and queens at this one. It's very tiny, the, the city is very small, so I guess I can see why. There, I mean, a whole lot of land, but not a lot of people. Um, Anywho, I have lots of footage, and I'm going to go ahead and roll that on Kusel uh, Castle, or Berg Lichtenberg, which is what it's called. And uh, I guess I will talk about it a little bit more and uh, see the real nice castle. Okay, see you soon. You find this green moss everywhere you walk. Going into one of the towers. It's kind of chilly out here. Look how pretty. Alright, now that I safely scaled the Stairs, all these tiny little windows. I mean, I don't know what it is like kings and princesses or dukes or what lived here. I need to do some research, but can you imagine? It's like this is my land. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so Kusa Castle, whimsical, uh, was burned down in a fire, and um, is now waiting for people to go and explore it. Uh, George and I will definitely be returning. Um, but the second part is all about um, New Schweinstein Castle, which is the castle that Walt Disney was inspired um, in order to make Sleeping Beauty's castle, uh, model her castle after. And I actually have my t my ticket. We went in the winter, so it didn't look like this, but Schloss Neuswinstein, and um, that is the castle that King Ludwig II, the Mad King, built. And um, sadly, uh, he only spent a cumulative 173 days, which is about six weeks, um, in that castle before he died in a mysterious death. To this day, people do not know why he died or really how he died. Um, 
It's kind of interesting. Um, he was kind of crazed about the arts, and um, you can definitely tell wa when walking through his castle. It's beautiful. Paintings everywhere, uh, precious stones and metalwork, the woodwork. It took 14, car uh, excuse me, 14 carpenters four years to complete just his bedroom alone. Um, it was amazing. Uh, in the throne room, uh, there was this beautiful mosaic um, uh, art uh, laid out as the floor. Over two million tiles, individual tiles. Mind you, they're very, very tiny. Um, beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, but the first castle you're going to see in the film is uh, the Yellow Castle, or Hohen Schwangau, uh, which roughly translates to if I can find it, the upper land of the swans. Uh, Maximilian II, the crown prince, which is King Ludwig's father, um, built this castle. And uh, King Ludwig took reign um, at the age of 18. So um, I don't have much time, so I'm just going to shoot you over to the footage, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're walking to one of the first castles, the Yellow Castle. And I don't have a booklet, so I'm not going to attempt to say the word. That's hard. This, we're walking up a hill, and this is our view. Oops, look at this. It's just beautiful. All right, we finally made it to the top. There it is. Alright, so this is the information kiosk um, that we were waiting at um, before we began our tour. And we would just take our ticket and put it right there where that little blue arrow is blinking um, in order for the gates to open up for us to enter into the castle. Alright, now we're done with our first castle tour. And we stumbled upon this little area of the lake. And we just learned that this is actually their summer home, or their vacation home. They didn't really um, live here. They lived in Munich. Pretty. Making the trek up to New Schwanstein Castle, Sleeping Beauty's castle that Walt Disney made. Imagine Prince Philip riding on his horse, and then you ride upon your castle. You see it? That's a horse, but because we're on a horse. The word of the day is Berg Schloss. All right, uh, so Berg and Schloss means the same thing, uh, which means castle. Uh, I can't really talk anymore now, but I hope you enjoyed this video on castles, and I hope to see you next Monday. All right. Cheers.